Hey guys, it's your girl Missy coming back at you again with another Ipsy bag review. So this month, I want to give a huge shout out to my sweet friend. Her name is Danielle. You can find her on YouTube under The Unboxing Diva. And I will leave a link to her page down in the description box below. Definitely check her out. Um, if you guys noticed, the last two Ipsy bags I did were very similar to each other. So I sat down with Danielle and asked her what I was doing wrong. And she completely revamped my Ipsy wish list, if you will. And I ended up getting a lot of really awesome things this October. I also want to apologize for this video being a little late, but that's okay. So I just want to say thanks to the Unboxing Diva for revamping it because I got some pretty awesome uh, items in my Ipsy bag this month. So let's go ahead and delve into this and get started. So the October uh, bag was labeled under Spellbound. So it was almost like a crimson and lace. So this is the bag that we actually got this time. I really like this bag. It is a red maroon lace bag with black zippers, black poles, like I am in love. And the one thing that I really enjoy about this, I'll see if I could do a close up of it, is the pole is actually a bat. Let me see if I can get you to see that lace a little bit. Okay, so there's the lace. I really, really, really like this bag. And like I said, it is spellbound. So the card inside of it is actually really adorable. It says on it, in my defense, the moon was full and I was left unsupervised. So you can see it just comes with a really cute card. And I really like these because they're actually pretty fun. And I have them hanging up on my wall behind my camera. But it says spellbound. The leaves have turned. The air is cooler. Nightfall starts a little sooner each day. Everything feels enchanted, mysterious, and different. So I really like that. And let's go ahead and delve into this. Now, this month I actually got six items, which usually you get five plus your bag, but this time I got six items. So super excited for all of these. So I'm going to start with the bigger items first. So, and I say that I've seen these because I got the email that said it was going to be in them. So the two things that I got, which I am so super, super excited for, are these two sheet face masks. The first one is in Pomegranate Crush. And the second one is in Cucumber Breeze. So I got both of these. I am so excited. I love sheet masks. They're so nice and cooling and I just, I love them. So I think I'm going to try this Illuminating Fiber Sheet Mask, the Pomegranate Crush one first, um, when I do all of this testing and then come back to give you guys my full review. So I'm gonna try the Pomegranate Crush one first. The next bigger item that I have, super excited to get this, again, I know it has to deal with the Unboxing Diva helping me out because if she didn't help me out, I probably would have got a face cleanser, a brush, and some more black eyeliner because that's kind of what I've been getting or something similar to that. But the next item I got is this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in the color of Perversion. So it's just a deluxe size sample. Let me open it up. And you can see all of the different colors inside of this little pamphlet or leaflet that it gives you. And it looks like the pencil is actually a pretty decent size. I'm totally going to mutilate this box getting it out. Oh, no, here we go. So let's see here. Urban Decay, Urban, Urban Decay Glide On Pencil in Perversion 24-7. So let's go ahead and swatch this bad boy. Ooh, that's a nice. Okay, that is some of the like creamiest eyeliner ever so it's a crayon contour i really like it that's actually really nice okay so the next item let's see what we have in here let's go for this guy he jumped out at me this is called hey honey trick and treat active cream concealer hmm. with uh treatment benefits natural tone normal to dry so it is just this little tiny concealer it's actually not even that tiny for a concealer it's a pretty decent size so let's go ahead and put a swatch of this on as well okay it says it's in a natural tone so it's just right up here you can kind of see it's not necessarily it actually matches my skin tone pretty well in the camera but on it's a little bit paler but definitely worth testing out so i got that Second to last item, we'll take this. This is MDM Flow, and this is a full-size matte liquid lipstick. 
I really like the packaging of it, but let's go ahead and swatch it. The color of this is retro, and this definitely looks like a color I would wear. It doesn't really have a smell to it, so let's just swatch that. Wow, that is a really beautiful, like, pink, corally color. It looks a lot darker in the video than it does on my hand in real life. So I'm going to definitely check this out because I really like that color. It's really pretty. And last but not least, we have Tarte Lifted Sweatproof Mascara. So I, again, am super excited that I actually got like some pretty decent brands this month. I'm really excited about it. And I'm also really excited that this is not a curved wand, as you can see, but it looks like it's just in the color of black and it's just a little tube of Tarte Lifted Mascara. So I'm gonna go ahead and go and pamper myself and try my Pomegranate Crush Mask and then get ready and put these items on and then I will be right back. And we are back. So this is the finished look that I have with the October Spellbound Ipsy bag. I did end up using a Jaclyn Hill palette for my eyeshadow and just my regular Rimmel foundation, the Stay Matte foundation with the Ben Nye setting powder. But other than that, everything that I have on is from this ipsy bag so let's go ahead and kind of give you guys like a review of what i liked and potentially what i didn't like about the spellbound bag and the items that i got so the first one i want to cover is this pomegranate crush uh fiber sheet mask i absolutely loved this mask a lot of masks since i do have a bigger nose a lot of masks don't have like this specific cuts that this mask did and this mask completely covered my entire face. It wasn't too large around the eyes. It wasn't too large around the mouth and the nose cut out was actually really great. A lot of times and this might happen for people who have smaller noses as well, but around here it doesn't actually touch the skin so I kind of just have to keep pushing it down. But this mask actually just like fit on like a glove and it smelled amazing. Now it is infused with natural pomegranate extract and vitamin E. And one thing I really love about masks like this is that you can put it on when it's been the 15, 20 minutes, you can peel it off and then you can just rub the serum in and then go about your day. I really like that. I feel like it adds more benefit of you walking around with the serum on with your face all day. So I really like it. This is definitely going to be a, another buy for me, so I'm gonna be checking that out. And I'm really excited that I got two of them so I can do the cucumber one later. All right, the next item I wanna go over is this Hey Honey Trick and Tree Active Cream Concealer with treatment benefits in the natural tone. Now, this product at first, when I put it on, it looked very, very pale on my already pale skin, but this matched very, very well. And also I really liked the tip of this because it has such a fine point on the applicator that you can do precision dot treatments instead of putting a dot on and all that other, you know, it kind of smears everywhere. Now, I really like that because I could just kind of go in under my eyes. Now, I made the mistake of taking this and squeezing a little too much underneath one of my eyes. So when I went to go put it on, I was able with just the small amount that I put under my eye, I was almost able to conceal my entire face with this. So I didn't want it to go to waste. So that's kind of what I used a little bit more than I should have, but I really like this. And I think that this is definitely going to be another repeat purchase. I like that item. Okay, so next is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. Now that is the only eyeliner that I used for this entire look. Um, to make it more of a smoky on top, I ended up just taking a liner brush and kind of smudging it out. Same thing with my under eyes. And with what was left on the brush, I was able to actually do cat eyes as well. I used very, very minimal eyeliner. For this look as you can see it almost looks brand new and it goes again a little goes a long way with this i also noticed that it took a while for me to scrub off the swatch so i'm pretty excited and i hope this is kind of a smear proof as well so i'm excited to see what it does throughout the rest of the day 
The next item that I have is the Tarte Lifted Sweat Proof Mascara, and it was in the color of a dark brown, actually, is what it looked like. It says it's black, but to me it almost looked more of a dark brown, which is still perfectly fine. The separation that it gave me with my natural lashes was amazing. It didn't necessarily give them a lot of length, which is what I really like with mascaras. is a mascara that you can use to build upon. Um, this really didn't have that building factor, but it definitely did do a wonderful job at separating my natural lashes. And then I just applied my magnetic lashes to the ends of my eyes as well. Um, so I really like this product. I love the packaging. I love the way that this feels. It's almost like a rubberized feel. And I really like the fact that these are deluxe samples, so I can just throw this in my purse. And I really like that I'm getting high quality products from Ipsy that are small and compact that I can put in a makeup bag this big and do my entire face if I ever need to travel or take it to, you know, to work or where I volunteer or anything like that. If I need to do like a quick touch up or something on break, I have it all with me and I really like that. Okay, last but not least is the MDM Flow in the color of Retro. I have it on my lips now. I really like this color. The dry factor for it to, how long it took for it to dry was super, super fast. And the color dry is actually a color that I adore. I really, really like this color. And I'm so excited that this came in a full size matte liquid lipstick tube. So this is definitely something that I'm going to be wearing more often. So as you can tell with this entire Ipsy bag, October was a awesome month for Missy because I was able to get tons of products that I absolutely loved. Not one of these is going in the trash. I really, really liked all of these. And again, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the unboxing diva, Miss Danielle, because if it wasn't for her, I would not have gotten these items. I sincerely think I would not have gotten these items. So thank you again for that, for helping me with that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so because it is free. And until next time, see ya.